Minister says he's not responsible for our diplom diplomatic reputation, even though that is precisely the job of the head of government. Like when he says he's not responsible for the inflationary spending that led prices and interest rates to rise faster than at any time in history. He's not responsible for housing costs doubling after he promised to lower them. He's not responsible for dressing up in racist costumes so many times he can't remember. That's all Canadians that needed to learn a lesson from his personal conduct. And now he says he's not responsible to vet the very people that come into contact with a visiting head of state. Is it that he's not responsible or that he's irresponsible? Yeah. Yeah. I would posit that the Leader of the Opposition is being very irresponsible right now in his accusations when in fact he knows the truth and it's why every party in this House has asked for the resignation which has now been received by the Speaker of the House because it was his decision and his decision alone to invite this individual and to recognize him in this chamber. The Leader of the Opposition knows this. He is irresponsibly politicizing this issue. Issue. This is something that has brought shame and embarrassment to all of Parliament and indeed all of Canadians. And the Speaker did the honourable thing in resigning. Thank you. Well, I am responsible enough to show up for work, Mr. Yeah. Speaker. Yeah. You know, I mean this literally. Has there ever been a greater diplomatic embarrassment in the history of our country? I mean it literally. In coffee shops and gyms and businesses and boardrooms around the world, people are reading about this massive and shameful disgrace that unfolded under the watch of a Liberal Speaker and a Liberal Prime Minister. And yet, he can't even show up for work. Where is he and why is he hiding under a rock today?